Hello YouTube, this is Gadget Pilot and I would like to welcome you on today's video. Okay, in this video guys, I'm not going to be flying, um, just in the cockpit and I'll be, I'll try today and explain a really important subject on how to calculate the weather in different airports around your region. Okay, now I am based in uh, Pueblo Mem Airport, which is Kilo Papa Uni Uniform um, Bravo. And uh, what we need to do, I'm just going to try and teach you the basics on how you guys can uh, read what you will find on your arrival airport or from your departing airports. Right now, I'm just going to go on the map. And I'll just go ahead and press on a random airport. Let's say you guys are flying to Kaba Airport, which is Central Airport. And uh, I want you guys to press next to the info is on your right, the weather. You're just going to press on the weather. And on top, you're going to see some uh, numbers that you might not even know what these things are. First of all, we're going to see the made the meter, which is which means the indication of the following standard hourly observations. So this is updated every hour. Okay, guys, in front, in front of the link. Let me just get my pen out. You guys will see Kaba which is here and this is your airport after that you see this number which means it's the day of the month which is 10 it's the 10th and next to it is 0953z that means it's 9 o'clock and 9.53 Zulu time zone okay so 9.53 Zulu time okay guys we're gonna jump next to it you're gonna see another number with uh, with some letters KT okay what this is it's the first three numbers 170 is the heading so at heading 170 the, uh, the wind is blowing at 5 knots, at 0, 05 knots. So, we have the wind blowing 7 knots at 170 degrees. I hope this makes sense, guys. I'm just trying to explain it as simple as possible. You guys can go ahead and because there's different kind of weather conditions that you guys need to learn and read what you need to do is find a website that will explain i'll try and get uh, i'll just try and search this for you guys on google and i'll put a link below my description so you guys can go and download different weather readings to help you guys out but for now, let's just go ahead and see the basics on these weather conditions at this airport. Okay guys, we're going next door. So we have 10SM as you can see here. The 10, it's, it's a number of, uh, it's a number and SM, it's, it stands for Stuart Miles. What are the Stuart Miles? Is you need to get the Stuart miles into mile into nautical miles and so for example we have 10 Stuart miles that means you guys can put the 10 uh, adding it to 1.15 to get your nautical miles so you put 10 uh, added by 1.15 and you get the number which is should be at 11.5 nautical miles so yes and guys the Stuart miles 
it's the indication of prevailing visibility that's what it uh, is for so yeah so now we're gonna go next to that and we can see letters and numbers which is few zero nine zero okay guys this few is the it's telling you that there are a few clouds at 9,000 feet, so leave the zero in front and just take it at nine zero. That means 9,000 feet. And also you get a few next to it, which also you can get a few clouds at 1,000, sorry, at uh, 11,000 feet. I hope this is clear for you guys and so far. All right, guys, we're going to jump next to that. Uh, I'm going to leave the 10 slash 01 and jump next to the A2981. What does that mean? Okay, guys, this indicates the altimeter settings. For example, it's in this case is 29.81 in HGs. Okay, so that's, uh, I hope this, you guys understand what I'm saying. And at the bottom is RMK, which that mean indicates the remarks section follows. That's what it stands for. And next to that, it's A02. What does A02 mean? This indicates that the station is automated with a precipitation discriminator that can read rain snow uh, sensors that sorry that includes rain and snow sensors if a station does not have rain or snow sensors it are designed with a01 in front instead of 02 okay guys uh, the last numbers here, which is T, and and we have a few numbers coming ahead. This is a bit complicated. You, I'm gonna try and explain a few things on that. Uh, okay, it's uh, breakdown of temperature and dew point in eight digital uh, separated into two groups of four. Okay, guys, so we're going to separate this in two groups of four, the numbers. Okay, the first four digitals, which is uh, 0, 10, 0, for example, in our case, uh, indicates the temperature. The first digital, which is number one, uh, designs above... Uh, or below zero Celsius. So if we have a zero, then it's above zero. Okay. If we have one, then it's below zero. So we have it at above zero in this case. The next three digitals in the group uh, are in this case 10, zero, and it's given the temperature degrees and tens of degrees celsius so we have a the temperature on degrees celsius so this is something you can find out on what whether you guys will find on your airport okie dokie guys the last four digitals in this case, we have 0, 0, 11 indicates the dew point uh, in Celsius. So, so we have the degrees in Celsius and, and we can compare it to Fahrenheit or whatever weather conditions you guys want to uh, learn or find out basically. Okay guys, this is the most important part of your info airports. This is the end of this video. I hope you guys understood the basics of this. If not, like I said, I'll find a 
weather that you guys can download your own weather uh, training sheets and you will find it on my description below the video so you guys can go ahead and print that out and study it so you guys can learn how to read the weather in different airports trust me guys this is quite simple if you get this paper really simple thing to use and trust me you will learn the basics and you will know what you're getting into as you approach or take off uh, from your desired airports thanks guys thanks for keeping me company again on this video thanks for watching if you did like this video hit the like below and i'll see you on the next gadget pilot video